Hi there, this is Mark again, and I decided to add a part two because there was a couple stories I wanted to include in my last video, but I was running out of time. But I felt that they were uh, good stories and, and relate related to using the psychomotor uh, domain uh, with using a computer. Uh, one of the stories is uh, about a senior citizen uh, I know from my business who wanted to learn how to use a computer. And uh, this uh, very nice, smart lady had never used a computer in her life. Uh, she was a very talented uh, lady in a lot of respects, but she had never, ever touched a computer. And so she did not have the cognitive domain skills down with using a computer. She knew she didn't understand uh, the most simple things that we take for granted uh, just like pointing to an icon and double clicking on it to open it uh, how to open a file how to turn the computer on and off and her lack of cognitive skills in using the computer highly affected her psychomotor domain skills of using a computer uh, she had uh, very m many troubles using the mouse and trying to coordinate the keyboard. Uh, she was afraid to even type, and she knew how to type on an old typewriter, but when it came to typing on a, a computer keyboard, uh, she she couldn't do it. Uh, she she had to go revert back to, you know, plucking and how people type that have never taken typing classes. So uh, without the cognitive uh, skills necessary to use a computer. Her psycho domain, or her psychomotor skills were were uh, very evident in in lacking and in, in uh, you know ability to to you know use the computer at all, uh, and and thus she's she's almost given up uh, trying to use the computer because uh, it's just too difficult for her. Anyway, the other story is kind of a funny story, and it's about my son when he was about two years old. Uh, he used to sit on my lap and watch me use the computer and, and do some homework and, and do other uh, business stuff on the computer. And he became very interested, and I would always have to push his hand away and keep his hand away from the keyboard. And... Anyway, I've always used a laptop, and uh, one day I came in into my desk, and he had crawled up onto to my desk and and had plucked every single key from the keyboard. They snapped right off, and he had them all off and all over the floor. The dogs were chewing them up. It was a disaster. I couldn't get mad. He was very interested in learning how to use a computer, but uh, as a as a two year old, he just didn't quite get it yet. So uh, that was my first lesson in teaching my son how to use a computer, and he learned quickly that that was not the way to treat a computer. And uh, I also had to keep the computer up high or hidden for quite a while still, because I didn't want that to happen again. But Anyway, that was my part two, and, uh, and I really enjoyed the psychomotor domain section, and like I said before, uh, I believe that the, the cognitive domain and the psychomotor domain are, go hand in hand with, with the using of computers, and especially for small children or adults or anybody who has never seen or used a computer other than maybe... Uh, well, for, for that, that fact, not at all. But uh, anyway, that's the end of my videos. Thank you very much.